um, I called this interview just to um, tell us about your experience with the scammers that uh, you experienced uh, the other day. And uh, please tell us about um, the issue that you saw on your computer, please. Well, I was, uh, I was doing some research on the computer since I, uh, I I'm, I'm, I write things on the computer and I write a couple of, uh, do articles for some magazines, et cetera. So I was doing some research and I was on NewYorkTimes.com, which is a pretty secure site, uh, when a window popped up and it told me that my computer was infected. So at first I thought it was a typical pop-up advertisement. So I just tried to exit out, but then it wouldn't move. And it kept telling me that my computer was infected and that my windows was infected. So, so here, I, so here I'm, I'm sharing with the, with the audience exactly the screen that you sent me, the screenshot that uh, Freddie sent me, showing the, exactly what happened. And here, as you can see, there's a number to call. And uh, OK, you continue, Freddie, because you experienced this. So I'm not going to take yeah. your uh, spot. Yes, please. No, yeah, and it, and it, and it looked. And not only was it that it looked official, but it was also not, I wasn't able to use my computer and I needed to use my computer. I needed to get things done. And I was also concerned that it would be one of those um, hijacked type of uh, software where they delete everything. Right. So, uh, so with, that, with, that, with that screen, just to explain to the people that the screen got spread all over the computer. So really, all the menus will disappear, then you can couldn't basically close anything. You couldn't locate any any of the, the screens, right? All the buttons. You couldn't even see your mouse, right? Well what what happened there? Yeah, I couldn't see anything. I mean my mouse was there but it wasn't having any effect. And the only thing I could do was scroll down on that notice and so I called. So because I thought I thought it was the real Windows issue because I've been reading late. I was reading lately. There are Windows issues, so I called a number, and they answered the Windows security. So he sounded really official, and he was telling. He actually told me that he wanted to join, use join me, uh, to access my screen and access my computer, right. so he could see what I was, so see what I was seeing. Right. So at first, uh, the fact that he said that sounded, you know, to me it sounded more. Um, not so, not so, not so uh, mysterious because uh, because that's something that they would do because they usually have that type of program. But I should have known better. You shouldn't share your screen with anybody. Um, am I right? Un, un, yes, unless you know personally that the, the person, unless you you did business with them or you know that, that they are uh, to be right. Uh, reliable people, otherwise you shouldn't rely, uh, show your screen with, with the complete strangers, yes. Right, so then he started, uh, had me check the logs, and then he saw that my, he said my antivirus software was not enabled. And he then said, "You, it's your fault, so it's not gonna, you need to order, you need to purchase uh, in like protection a certain right. antivirus protection and there would be a lot of work that had to be done okay. and he, was, he started talking and talking and I said oh that, this sounds really weird so I hung up. Did, did they mention how much he wanted for this? Did they say a, a dollar amount for it? Like what was, was the, he, the charge? He started, tell, he started telling me it would, it would cost several hundred dollars to start. Oh, okay. And then, but then I said, okay, I'm gonna call my friend Egal from Too Secure because uh, I, I, because I, you know, obviously I trust you and you're an actual person. Right. And when, when I called you, you looked at my computer, and within five minutes, everything was back to normal again. It was a scam, and it was a lesson that I learned. Um, to be very, very careful when it comes to the computer security. Right, okay. So, um, have you experienced uh, those, uh, this kind of event uh, before or after that event or no? Well, I've, I've experienced things like that before, but I, 
I usually never click on the thing, but in this case, it was really, really, it really locked my screen. So I couldn't do anything. In the past, it would just be like a pop-up, an annoying pop-up that would come from the taskbar and constantly annoy you, but you ignore it, you know? But in this case, I wasn't able to do anything. So that's why I was more concerned. And I was thankful that you were around to to help me out because not many people are out there that would be so honest and and show that it's a simple fix. A lot of times they'll charge you hundreds of dollars and not do anything. And right. you were really, really, uh, that's why I trust you. That's why I like working with people I trust because otherwise you could really, really, you know, it's like when someone's car breaks down and they don't know anything about cars, you take it to the mechanic. And if you don't trust the mechanic, they could tell you that the worst things are wrong and everything's broken and blah, blah, blah. And we have no idea what they're saying and we're worried about safety. So we say, okay, so fix it, you know? Right, right. It's the same thing with computers. We don't want to lose all the work we've done. Our, and it's and it's very, very, um, a computer is a personal item. It's really like part of our ourselves, part of our mind because we have memories in there. We have uh, documents in there. We have things that are very secure and very, very personal to us that we don't want to lose. So what do we do? We get nervous sometimes. But now I know, I just call Egal and he'll handle it. <laughs> okay, the, 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 that's perfect. Okay, very well. Thank you, uh, Freddy, for your time and sharing this uh, uh, precious information that we can share with the, our viewers uh, so they can uh, be better and safe when they go online to spot this and how to handle those kind of events. When right, and the most important thing that they should know is to always call somebody who you know and who will be there for you and it actually exists. Right, exactly. Not, not the stranger that you never spoke with him or because he says, oh, Windows security or whatsoever that you think it's, a, right. it's actually um, real company behind the scenes so oh microsoft which, which actually is not okay perfect thank you uh, thank you for okay. your uh, views and and help uh wish you success and enjoy your summer huh